After his estranged grandmother Sachiko passes away, 19-year-old Hayato ends up inheriting her cafe, Cafe Familia. Hayato's got his mind set on turning the place into a parking lot. But when he visits the house where Sachiko brought him up, he's in for a big surprise. There are five girls living there. These girls, Uka, Ami, Riho, Shiragiku, and Akane, work as waitresses at the cafe and were like unofficial granddaughters to Sachiko. Hayato, not really caring much because of some bad blood with his grandma, kicks them out. The girls, not ready to give up, come up with a plan to manipulate Hayato by trying to seduce and blackmail him. Things get heated when Hayato angrily turns down Uka and Ami. So, they decide to give Shiragiku some alcohol on purpose, which brings out her hidden lecherous side and her weird thing for the smell of guys. Shiragiku ends up jumping on Hayato, but Ami, who's kind of taken on the role of the girl's bodyguard, steps in and rescues Shiragiku by beating up Hayato. Just then, some developers show up to talk about demolishing the cafe, but during the visit, Familia's sign gets damaged. That's when Hayato starts feeling bad about how things ended with Sachiko, so he goes and retrieves the sign. Seeing this change in him, Uka makes pilaf using Sachiko's recipe, which really hits home for Hayato, and he finally breaks down and cries over his grandmother's death. While going through Sachiko's records, Hayato discovers that Familia is actually bankrupt because Sachiko was paying the girls even though the cafe was too small to support five employees. In a sudden decision, Hayato tells the girls he's going to reopen Familia. But there's a catch. If the cafe isn't making money within a year, he's going to tear it down. Hayato puts the girls to work, making them share all the household chores. But when they find out he saw their underwear while doing the laundry, they punish him by making him clean the cafe. Shiragiku also insists that Hayato join them for meals, like a real family. Things get awkward when Hayato and Uka accidentally see each other naked in the bathroom because there was no sign. Even though it was Uka who walked in on him, Ami still beats Hayato up. Hayato later tries his hand at making coffee after the incident, but the girls all agree it tastes awful. Surprisingly, the usually antisocial Akane makes amazing coffee. Even though she gets on his nerves, Hayato swallows his pride and asks her for help. Akane realizes that Sachiko was right. Hayato does look pretty cute when he's sulking. In a childish retort, Hayato tells Akane she looks cute when she smiles, but she doesn't react and just shows him how to make coffee. After he leaves, though, Akane is actually pretty flustered. Later, Hayato gets beaten up by Ami again, this time because he accidentally sees her naked in the bathroom, even though he had put up a sign to avoid this exact situation. Hayato decides to take Riho on some courtesy visits to spread the word about Familia's reopening. However, Riho scolds him for being moody, which is putting people off. Realizing she's right, Hayato promises to improve his attitude. To reward him, Riho flashes her panties, causing Hayato to fall down the stairs. It's then revealed that Riho has a shrine fortune predicting she'll find love with a co-worker. Hayato and Uka are always bickering, so Riho suggests that Hayato find a way to make peace. Akane advises him to give compliments, so Hayato starts praising Uka a lot. Unfortunately, Uka thinks he's being sarcastic. Later on, he sees Uka in her waitress uniform and genuinely tells her she looks cute, which makes Uka smile since she designed the uniforms herself. Just then, Shiragaku, accidentally drunk again, ruins the moment by molesting Hayato. Hayato decides to pay the girls some wages, revealing that he has money invested in the stock market. Meanwhile, Ami tries to keep Hayato from finding out she broke his phone and laptop, but her efforts fail. Because of this, Hayato can't sell his stocks in a company that suddenly goes bankrupt, causing him to lose all his savings. Hayato then decides to punish Ami for breaking his phone and laptop. Now that he's entirely dependent on the cafe for money, Hayato tells the girls they'll have to rotate shifts so only two of them work at a time. When Familia reopens, they get a bunch of satisfied customers. Things are going great until Fuwa, the loan shark who always hassled Sachiko about her debts, shows up. Hayato manages to keep his cool and stops the girls from hitting Fuwa when he starts insulting Sachiko. But when Fuwa intentionally exposes Shiragiku's panties, Hayato loses it. He blackmails Fuwa and throws him out while their customers cheer and promise to back Hayato up if Fuwa ever returns. Fuwa swears he'll get revenge for being humiliated. Shiragaku, watching all this unfold, realizes that Hayato hasn't changed to recover from the decline in customers at Familia. Hayato decides to open a stall at the Cherry Blossom Festival. Shiragiku suggests making cherry liqueur cookies, but she gets drunk and ends up molesting Hayato, who then gets punished by Ami. Akane steps in and gives Hayato a cookie recipe she and Sachiko developed together. They get the stall up and running, 
but things take a turn when Uka is harassed by Fua's grandson and his thugs. Thankfully, other stall owners come to the rescue and drive them away. Unfortunately, Familia's stall gets vandalized overnight. Hayato remembers that Sachiko had an old food cart, so they quickly spruce it up and turn it into a mobile cafe stall. The new setup is a hit, largely thanks to Riho's efforts on social media. On their way home, the same thugs show up again and start harassing them. Fuwa's grandson punches Hayato, who takes the hit on purpose because he believes Fuwa's connections with the police will protect them from arrest. Under Hayato's orders and claiming self-defense, Ami beats up the grandson and the thugs. Hayato then scares them further by claiming that Uka is a secret murderous gang leader, much to her shock and dismay, causing the thugs to flee. To ensure there's no further retaliation, Hayato records the entire conversation about Fuwa's connections to corrupt police officers. Uka is surprised when she finds out Hayato took the punch on purpose to protect Sachiko's food cart from being vandalized. Hayato starts to notice that Ryo is working too much between her college studies and helping out at Familia. Ryo is really grateful for everything Sachiko did for her and is determined to make Familia a success. She even flashes back to her mother, who used to tell her that people who don't work hard are worthless. Hayato, concerned, tells Ryo she should take some time for herself. His words remind her of Sachiko, and she starts to think that maybe Hayato is actually someone she can rely on. In the meantime, Hayato finds out that Akane plays in a band on her days off, but she's secretive and won't let the other girls attend her concerts. One day, by chance, Hayato stumbles upon one of her underground concerts and is amazed to see that, despite her usual indifference, Akane is a passionate and talented singer. Akane is embarrassed that Hayato saw her perform, so he promises to keep her talent a secret. He's surprised, though, that Akane isn't interested in becoming a professional singer. She's even more embarrassed when she learns that Hayato bought one of her CDs. The next week, the girls have a discussion about what it's like living together with a guy. They all agree that, based on his personality, Hayato isn't the type to try and seduce them. They start to wonder what Hayato plans to do when the year is over. Out of nowhere, Akane says she wouldn't mind marrying Hayato, which shocks the girls. She quickly claims she was just joking, leaving everyone a bit flustered. Riho notices that Hayato always smiles whenever Shiragiku praises him, while Shiragiku feels a bit jealous when Hayato pats Riho's head. Things get heated when Hayato suggests changing Sachiko's old menu, which really ticks Shiragiku off. This leads to a taste test showdown, a Sachiko sandwich versus a new menu sandwich made by Riho. But Hayato, sensing that the real issue isn't the menu, decides he's suddenly full and doesn't try either sandwich. Meanwhile, Ami starts being a super perfect employee, which freaks everyone out a bit. Akane suspects it's because Ami recently lost a karate match, and Ami confirms that her coach even advised her not to try because her opponent was too strong. But Hayato isn't having it. He tells Ami she just needs to learn some new moves. Things take a turn when Ami accidentally breaks Hayato's new laptop, followed by Uka breaking his phone. Ami, sticking to her usual routine, offers a breast squeeze as compensation. But she's totally shocked when Hayato actually takes her up on the offer and gives her a mad breast squeezing rampage as punishment. Totally humiliated, Ami decides to stop offering breast squeezes altogether. Just when Hayato starts to feel like maybe the girls are more like employees than family, they go and surprise him by planning a party to celebrate Familia's two-month anniversary. It's then that Hayato realizes they really are his family after all. But then, things take a somber turn when Akane gets a phone call from her mother that clearly upsets her. From Akane's behavior, Hayato figures out that she's planning to quit and move out because of her mother. Akane appreciates Hayato's help and jokingly offers him a breast squeeze as repayment, but instead, Hayato surprises her by asking her out on a date. When the other girls find out about the secret date, they get suspicious. But Akane realizes that Hayato just wants her to open up about her problem. During the date, Akane eventually opens up and reveals that her family owns a trading company. Since her father passed away, she's the sole heir, and her mother is pressuring her to marry a guy of her choosing and have kids. Hayato figures out from the lousy coffee she just made that Akane doesn't want to go through with it. The girls all agree that Akane can't leave, so she asks Hayato for his help. They meet Akane's mother, but she can't seem to speak her mind. Hayato gives her a stern talking to, telling her she needs to stop making excuses and start standing up for herself. With that, Akane finds the courage to defy her mother. In the end, her mother relents and tells Akane she can live however she wants. 
She even seems to recognize Hayato's family name, Kasakabe. The other girls are relieved that Akane is staying. As Akane leaves, her mother jokingly points out that if Akane wants to marry Hayato, she'll have to beat the other girls first, much to Akane's embarrassment as she denies it. Later, in private, Akane thanks Hayato for his help by hugging him and promising to make his coffee for the rest of his life. Hayato, embarrassed, tells her not to tease him and walks away. But secretly, Akane admits to herself that she has a crush on him, feeling delighted by the turn of events. After paying their wages, Hayato drops a bombshell. He wants to open a familia beach hut. But here's the catch. It means the girls have to give up their summer break to work, and the hut will cost four months' worth of profits to build. Meanwhile, Akane decides to rejoin her bandmates and start singing again. The girls agree to work through the summer, but immediately start debating whether to wear beach uniforms or bikinis, whichever option flusters Hayato more. However, Hayato puts his foot down and insists on shorts and vests. Things take a wild turn when Shiragiku gets drunk from touching alcohol cleaning wipes and ends up half-naked, molesting Hayato in the process. Meanwhile, Akane takes Hayato's advice and changes her band's name, making the other girls worry that she's becoming serious competition for Hayato's affections. Shiragiku comes up with a watermelon parfait as the hut's signature item, and they do a photo shoot to promote it. The photos end up going viral, thanks to Ami wearing a bizarre mask. On the hut's opening day, Riho catches Akane talking with Hayato instead of working, and she gets angry before fainting from overwork and heatstroke. Hayato scolds her for worrying him again, which surprisingly makes Riho feel less jealous. But when Hayato refuses to apologize to Akane on Ryo's behalf, she throws a tantrum. Akane overhears their argument and smiles to herself. Riho loses her cool when she notices bikini girls flirting with Hayato. She ends up yelling at him, feeling frustrated by the situation. Meanwhile, Akane tries to teach Oka how to make coffee, but it doesn't exactly go according to plan. Hayato discovers that Shiragiku has a guaranteed chef career lined up after college, which makes him wonder why she continues to work at a coffee shop. Things take a tense turn when Fuwa's grandson and his thugs show up at the hut and start hassling Riho. To protect her, Hayato sends Ami to scare them away. Despite her earlier apology, Riho finds herself yelling again when she sees more bikini girls flirting with Hayato. The situation continues to frustrate her. Meanwhile, Akane drops a hint to Hayato about her next song being about first love. But before he can catch on, Ami pulls him into the ocean as part of a prank. Akane decides to teach Ami how to make coffee, and surprisingly, Ami ends up doing a better job than Uka. Meanwhile, Hayato has to practically drag Riho away to take a break so she won't faint from overwork again. The situation takes a serious turn when a news reporter accidentally reveals Riho's past as a child actress. This deeply upsets her. Riho's mother used to overwork her, which eventually led to her parents' divorce over concerns for Riho's health, a burden she never fully recovered from. Hayato reassures Riho that Familia's success isn't worth risking her health, and she finally agrees to take things easier. She breaks down in tears in Hayato's arms. As it turns out, the other girls already knew about Riho's past, but they never considered it important. To them, she's just Riho, not child actress Riho. Uka's twin sister, Kika, tracks her down to Familia and is not pleased to find out that Uka only has a part-time job and an unconventional living situation. Kika proceeds to insult the girls, Hayato and Familia, deeming them unsuitable for their respectable Makazawa family. In response, Uka slaps her, and Kika storms off in anger. Uka explains to the others that her family has a long tradition of graduating from Tokyo University, but she couldn't handle the pressure from their parents and left to study fashion. As Kika watches from a distance, Uka recalls how Kika agreed to attend university just so their parents would allow her to study fashion. Hayato points out to Uka that Kika's continued presence around Familia indicates she's worried about her. So, he gives Uka the day off to talk to her sister. During their conversation, Kika reveals that she actually wanted to go to university, and Uka's behavior of acting like she forced her to go and then distancing herself from her is hurtful. Uka realizes that Kika misses her, and they reconcile. Later on, Kika admits to Uka that Hayato impressed her because he was the only one who didn't mistake her. Kane catches Hayato off guard by asking about his romantic future. Feeling embarrassed, Hayato deflects, saying he won't think about it until he decides Familia's future. Akane understands and accepts that he's not ready to accept or reject her confession. Unbeknownst to them, Shiragiku overhears their conversation. Things take a turn when the house bathtub breaks, 
forcing them to bathe at a bathhouse while Hayato agrees to install a new bath and toilet. While at the baths, the girls overhear men talking and are embarrassed to learn that Hayato is larger than average. Later, Akane informs Riho that she confessed her feelings to Hayato at the beach, prompting Riho to finally confess to Hayato as well, but she quickly claims she was just joking. Hayato feels uncomfortable by Riho's confession and reiterates that he won't think about romance until Familia's future is settled. Riho accepts this, but the next day, she loses her temper when she sees Akane openly flirting with Hayato. Their rivalry escalates, drawing the attention of customers as they argue over Hayato. Ami intervenes to calm them down and urges them to stop fighting. Akane admits to provoking Riho on purpose so she could be honest about her feelings, as she tends to keep them bottled up. Riho confirms this and apologizes for losing her temper. They agree to be civilized rivals, but Hayato witnesses their interaction and runs off confused, fearing he did something wrong. Despite the misunderstanding, both Akane and Riho swear to tell Hayato how they truly feel about him. Later that night, Hayato sees Shiragiku in Sachiko's room, leaving him curious and puzzled about what's going on. Hayato decides to spice up Familia's menu with a new item. However, both Akane and Riho notice his lack of trust in them due to their recent rivalry. Shiragiku gets irritated when Hayato casually brings up her moving out soon to pursue a real job, prompting her to abruptly confess her feelings to him. Fortunately, her confession is fueled by being drunk on kitchen disinfectant, and she ends up passing out in her underwear. Hayato hears a rumor about Sachiko and finally confronts Shiragiku about why he saw her in Sachiko's room late at night. Shiragiku's flashback reveals that Sachiko was once a renowned three Michelin star chef in Spain who mentored Shiragiku's father, leading to their initial meeting as children. Sachiko had given up her career to raise Hayato, a fact she never wanted him to know. Feeling guilty, Hayato blames himself for Sachiko's sacrifices, but Shiragiku reassures him that Sachiko never regretted her decision to raise him. Determined not to let Familia fail, Hayato resolves to do whatever it takes to ensure its success. The other girls, listening in, tearfully pledge their support, though their emotional outbursts only frustrate Hayato further. In a flash forward, an older Hayato is shown still working at Familia, now accompanied by his teenage daughter. The identity of her mother among the five girls remains a mystery. During a picnic, a drunken Shiragiku blurts out her love for Hayato, shocking everyone, especially Akane and Riho, who now realize they have another rival vying for Hayato's affections.